Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside And my horn strings are... Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living And for today's video I'm going to be cooking a bow tie pasta beef skillet recipe And this is something we've never tried this recipe before But I saw it and I thought it looked pretty interesting and it's got a lot of good ingredients that we enjoy. Uh, we're going to start off with one pound of uh, ground beef. And it's also going to have uh, some beef broth, a can of tomatoes, tomato sauce, bow tie pasta, Parmesan cheese, Worcestershire sauce, uh, bell pepper, zucchini, and squash. Now the recipe actually called for putting in three uh, yellow squashes, but I'm going to put one yellow squash and one zucchini and put a little more bell pepper than what it actually called for. So uh, let me go ahead and get started on the first step. We're going to take the uh, ground beef and just go ahead and let it start browning. It'll take just a few minutes for this to brown. It had been in the freezer and I've let it sit out and thaw so it is pretty cold. But just as soon as I get this browned, I'll drain the grease off and be back with you. Okay, the uh, ground beef is browning up nicely, and I've got my vegetables chopped up already. So I'd say this ground beef is about half done, so give it just a, maybe two or three more minutes till it's completely brown. 
Okay, I'm back now, and I've got my hamburger meat uh, browned and got all the grease drained off of it. I'm going to start by adding some salt and pepper. Now, this recipe will be in the description below the video. If you want to go down and click on it, you can see the entire recipe. So there's some salt and pepper. It calls for one and one-third cup of beef broth. And so I'm not sure how precise that needs to be, but I'll go ahead and just measure it out of this can. Okay, there's one cup of beef broth. And there's about a third of a cup. There's not very much left in here. I'll save this if I feel like I need it. I can add it to it in a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to add one can of diced tomatoes, uh, the juice and all. And then I'm going to add eight ounce, this is a small can of tomato sauce. And I'll add all that to it. And then I'm going to add, this is two cups of uncooked bow tie pasta. And I use the brand, it's the Great Value brand. We just picked this up at Walmart. Okay, I'm going to stir this up real good. And I'm going to cover it with lid. Let it come up to a boil. And then reduce the heat and let it simmer for about 10 to 12 minutes. And before it gets done, I'm going to add the rest of the vegetables to it, but I don't want to put them in there right now. Well, it sure does look good. Looks like it's going to be real tasty and flavorful, and it's not a very expensive meal to prepare, and uh, it's definitely easy to make. So let me get this started boiling, and I'll be back with you in about 10 minutes. Okay, I almost forgot. I've got to add some Worcestershire sauce to it. So I'm just going to put about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Okay, now I'll be back with you in a few minutes. Okay, this has been simmering now for just a little over 10 minutes. Wow, it sure does smell good. If it tastes half as good as it smells, this is going to be a good recipe. Okay, next I'm going to add in my vegetables. Let me see if they'll slide in like this. Okay, and I'm going to add one half of the Parmesan cheese. So I'm going to stir this all up real good. And the recipe calls for cooking this for about three to four minutes with the vegetables. But I may cook it a little bit longer because Marie and I both like our vegetables to be real tender. And so we'll just see how it looks once the, after it cooks three or four minutes, I'll see how it looks and see if I want to cook it a little bit longer. Okay, I'm going to let this go ahead and cook now for four minutes with the lid off. That'll cook down some of the uh, extra juice in it. And as soon as it gets through cooking, I'll be back and we'll do a taste test. Okay, I'm back, y'all. And I did let this go ahead and cook a little longer than just four minutes. 
uh, I actually cooked it for almost eight minutes because we want our squash and zucchini to be real tender and it really smells good. Uh, it's going to be very hot. I can't wait to try it. I'll take the rest of the Parmesan cheese and just sprinkle it on top. And then it's ready to serve. This little electric cooker will continue to cook for probably another minute or two. But I'm going to go ahead and dip some out in the bowl so we can do a taste test on it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and set this over here on the oven just so it will quit cooking. And let me try a little bite here. Now Marie, she did do a little taste test just a second ago and she did say that the uh, squash and zucchini had a little bite to it and that's when it had cooked for four minutes. So I do recommend that you go ahead and cook it a little longer. Uh, if you want your squash and zucchini to be very tender. Mm, that's very hot, but that is very delicious. I think I'm going to let it cool just a little bit before I finish eating mine. And Marie, she's feeling a little better today, but she's not completely well. So she's not going to do a taste test on camera today. So I'll close this video out for you. Uh, if you try this meal, be sure and leave comments. Let us know how you liked it. The first bite that I just tried is very delicious. And uh, I think it's going to be a very good meal. So y'all have a great day. We'll see you on our next video. And as Marie would say, do what you love and love what you do. And bye, everyone. We were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming. Every day we danced and life was smiling We were young and drunk in love A few years later I have started thinking If it's just love in every glass I'm drinking We're like one and without you I'm sinking I'm always shining next to you Oh, I got you, there's no reason to